Okay, uh, today folks, I actually had this receptacle here. We're going to add a GFI here, and we're going to add a receptacle in the corner, back where my electrician is. What I want to talk to you about right now is actually how to splice these wires. We're going to do what they call pigtail. I've already took the liberty of stripping these off. Okay. Biggest thing here is you want to hold these together, and I want to show you how to pull and twist these wires. You want to pull and twist. Pull and twist because electricity vibrates. It's very important that that connection is made very, very good. Because sometimes these things are in here for 20 years before another electrician may come in here and touch this box. I always like to kind of get my first two started and then tie this one in. That is the way it's, the joints are supposed to be tied together with copper. Now what I want you to do here, we're using red wire in this because you've got three number 12s here. And we're going to twist this on and I want you to twist and twist and twist and when your hands start hurting then you want to pull out your side cutters you want to twist some more. You want to get a good bite because remember electricity vibrates. The, the more the load is on the circuit, the more apt it is to vibrate. Don't be shy. Okay, now we're going to tie in this ground wire. I'm going to go ahead and splice this. I normally would use a green wire nut, uh, what we call a greeny. I don't have one with me, so what I'm doing is okay. But you owners, just make sure grounds are very important. That's what causes the breaker to trip, is the ground. If you don't have your grounds on correctly, you can burn your house down. And now this one's ready for the GFI to be put in. This is what we're going to call line side of the GFI. What we're going to do, we're just going to go ahead and tape this ground wire just to make sure everything's good here. We actually refer to this as tape lock. Okay, all right. 